Hello, everyone. My name is Rui Feng Luo from Tongji University. My supervisor is Professor Xin Zhong Zhao. Today, I'm so honored to share some ideas about trust topology optimization. Structural optimization problems can be roughly divided into three levels, size, shape, and topology optimization. Size level is usually to find an optimal cross-sectional area of bars or thickness of planes. Shape level focuses on the node position of bars or the shapes of holes. Topology level generally involves the number, shape, and the position of openings in the continuum of the connection between nodes. When simultaneously considering the, those three levels, these problems can be challengeable. There are two main types of methods for different research objects. As for the continuous structures, it is to find the best material distribution by deleting low efficient elements. And it's often FEM based and can directly reflect the mechanical behavior of a structure. And also it needs complex post-processing. As for the discrete structures, then it contains the node positions, uh, connection between nodes and cross-sectional areas. And the method often used is ground structure based or grammar based. And it has a natural adaptability to trust like structures. Also, the solution space is complex under nonlinear and non convex constraints. Most of these methods essentially seek the optimal distribution of materials or layout of a structure within the design domain that are really interconnected. Therefore, a hybrid topology optimization method combining the advantages of both the continual and the discrete topology optimization method is proposed in this paper. Here, we need to give a problem formulation about this generation and optimization task. In order to find the best structure in the design envelope, some initial input should be made clear. The initial input includes a geometry boundary, load boundary, object function, and constraints. To obtain the best design, the main methods have three parts as shown in this yellow region. I will go details for these three parts. As for the first part, the structural modification is to change the trust layout by both FEM-based way and the grammar-based way. First, the knowledge of continual optimization by FEM method can help to construct the initial trust layout. This is obtained from the trust counter map via Kimi's cluster method, give initial information about the stress distribution. The distance function will use Manhattan distance and the generate and to generate the connected edge with cluster centers, we use the Loni triangulations. This is a triangle-based method, and also it's a fast algorithm. The second use is the search guidance in the geometric modification. Uh, because we think uh, the first transmission path can be approximately reflected by the principal stress strategies. A bars along force transmission paths may contribute to the optimal structure which can be regarded as a condition to find the potential useful bars. As for the topology modification, it is developed by a grammar and a graphic-based method called STSA, like human language, make some rules with the basic structure element to generate the trust layout. For 2D cases, we use a set of triangle-based rules. There are the two pair of rules. Rule 1 is adding and subtracting rules, and rule 2 is swiping rules. For geometry modification, as mentioned before, the node position is changed by both stochastic search and the knowledge of principal stress map. We use alpha to balance the knowledge of principal stress map and random approach. For size modification, the cross-section area of each bar is selected from a pre predefined discrete section library. Here, the cost function is used in the uh, paper where p is a penalty factor for constraints violation. Uh, here we set p to a big number, expecting the uh, final result could pass all constraints. We use the simulated annealing for heuristic searching, and this is a annealing schedule. The 10 bar level trust optimization problems is tested in this paper. Here is the initial input. The experiment is implemented by MATLAB, including clustering, simulating a needing, and a structural analysis. Here is the result of the FEM based FEM method, the clustering result and the principal stress distribution. 
Compared with pre previous published results, the proposed method can generate better solutions um, uh, from the table. The best layout is shown in the picture. The red edge presents the bar intention, and the blue one, uh, blue one represents the bars in comparison. And the detailed information can be found in this table. When doing the 10 bar experiment, uh, some other solutions are quite different from the optimal solutions shown in the uh, previous slide. Also, Although these solutions are not the best during the experiment, there are still competitive solutions as a multiple solutions for this 10-bar blender trust problem. Here we give some, give some details information. Here we come to the last part, conclusions and future work. The proposed method combines the advantages of both the continuum and the discrete structural optimization method. It is simultaneously considering size, shape, and topology optimization level. By the knowledge of stress map and the principal stress distribution, the method was fortified in the problem of 10 bar optimization and uh, achieved a good optimization result. For future work, more efficient generation rules in both 2D and 3D cases would be investigated. Thank you for your attention. If you have any further questions, Please feel free to contact me. That's all. Thank you.